Hey peeps, I hope you guys all had a good Christmas break. Um, so I will be back on Tuesday. Um, so yesterday you should have did a canvas kit. No, you should, yes, it's for a grade. Um, okay, um, you guys will have three days of sheets. So there'll be three videos. Um, today and tomorrow are gonna be the same. And then the next day switches just a little bit. Um, so make sure that you follow along, watch the video, whatever. Okay, um, because the semester is new um, and there's nothing in the grade book, uh, if you're even missing one assignment, it will drop your grade to um, an F. So make sure that you turn in everything. Um, I'll do my half of the sheet and you'll do your half. Okay, just like normal. Okay, so um, a geometric sequence um, is essentially um, a pattern. And it's a pattern that uses multiplication. Okay, so you guys have seen sequences before and it might be... Um, two, four, six, eight, ten, and you could be able to tell me what comes next and next and next, right? Um, and that's just adding by two. So two plus two is four, plus two is six, plus two is eight, plus two. Okay, and you could kind of fill in the rest. Okay, well, sometimes with the geometric means multiply. Okay, sometimes they're kind of hard to see if you, especially if you don't know your times table. So um, some of you guys will be able to see it really fast. Um, and other you guys will need to use your calculator. I'm going to show everybody how to do that on the calculator, um, which is definitely slower. However, um, it is more effective. Um, so if we look at this, they want to just know, is this geometric or not? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to start at the back and work your way to the front. So I want you to do on your calculator 48 divided by 12. Okay, so 48 divided by 12. And it should look like this on your calculator. Okay, and it should give you a four. So, so I can put a four above here. Okay, so from here to here, that's four. Okay, well, I can do the exact same thing and say 12, because that's the next one, 12 divided by four. 12 divided by four. And that gave me a three. Okay, um, four divided by two is two. Okay, so um, is this geometric? Okay, and this one is gonna be a new. It's not geometric. Okay, so in order to be geometric, okay, um, it needs to be multiplied by the same thing every single time. So we can tell that two times two gave us four. Okay, and really there's like little times is all the way up here. 2 times 2 gave us 4. 4 times 3 gave us 12. 12 times 4. And so you can see that these are all increasing, right? They're going times 2, times 3, times 4. That is a pattern, but geometric is only if it's timesing by the same number every time. And one way to kind of look at that is if I had, um, I'm trying to think of a number I can do, 2, okay? This is geometric, um, 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. If I would divide 16 by 8, that gave me 2. 4 divided by 8 gave me 2. 2 divided by, uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, we times by the same number every single time. So this would be a geometric. This is not. It's not timesing by the same exact number every single time. So it's a no, okay? Um, so uh, number three, we're gonna start with the 64. So 64 divided by 36, okay? And I got 16 over nine, or you can hit the SD and it gave you a decimal, so 1.7, okay? So 1.7. And we can do the same thing, and you can get a fraction. You can multiply by the same fraction every time. So 36 divided by 16. Okay, we do the next two. Well, that's nine over four, which is 2.25. Okay, now, as soon as you realize that it's multiplied by something different, I'm going to put the 2.25 up here, okay, we can see that these two are different. There's no point to check the next one, 16 divided by 4. There's no point because as soon as you have two numbers that are different, so, like, I didn't even need to check this 2 up here. As soon as I realized that this was a 3 and this was a 4, I could just stop. And so this one is going to be a no without even checking because they all have to be the exact same. Okay, and so if they're not, then you automatically know it's going to be a no. Okay, look at number five. Okay, we're going to start off from the back. We're going to say 54 divided by the smaller one. So divided by 18. Okay, well, if we type that in, it gave me three. So 
I'm gonna put a three here, okay? Now, this next one needs to be a three, okay? And if it's not, then I can say no. If it is, then I need to check the next one, okay? So every time you have to check them all. 18 divided by six, 18 divided by six is also three, okay? Well, those two are threes, but that does not mean that the last one is a three. So we also have to check that one. So six divided by two is also a three, okay? Now, again, um, if you check these, okay, it's really times, two times three is six. Well, six times three is 18. 18 times three is 54. Okay, these are all really times because it's geometric. Um, and so because those are all <clears throat> times three, it's gonna be a yes. It is geometric. Okay, and so we can check this one. Zero divided by negative four is gonna be zero. Four divided by, or negative four divided by negative seven is four over seven, okay? And so as soon as we see that they're not the same, it's gonna be a no, okay? As soon as we see it's not the same, it's gonna be a no. Okay, 216 divided by 36. 216 divided by 36 is six. Okay, so this one is times six. 36 times six is 216. Okay, 36 divided by six is six. And six divided by one is six. Okay, so those are all the same. So this is yes. Okay. Okay, on the back page, determine if the sequence is geometric. If it is, okay, and this is if, if it is, find the next three terms in the sequence after the last given one, okay? Um, so if we were to look at this, um, this very first one, I'm gonna say negative 125 divided by 25, and that gave me a negative five. So this one was negative five. 25 divided by negative five also gave me a negative five. And then last I got negative five divided by one is also a negative five. Okay, so we need to find the next three terms. Sorry, I'm like, my bad. Okay, we need to find the next three terms. Okay, so first of all, it says determine if it is geometric. If it is, which it is, because these all say negative five, negative five, negative five, then find the next three terms. Okay, so really we need to fill in 125, blank, comma, blank, comma, blank. Okay, we need to find the next three terms. So what you're gonna do is take this last one and say times by five. So you're gonna say negative 125 times by negative five. Okay, well that gave me 625. So this next one is 625. And again, don't hit erase on your calculator because then you can just say times negative five. And that gave me negative 3125. Negative 3125. And again, don't hit erase, because then we can just say times negative five. And that gave me 15, six, two, five. Now, if you do accidentally click erase, which is totally fine, you would type in this number, whatever one you're on, so 625 times negative five, and it gave us this one. Then you would go this one times negative five. And then you would go this one times negative five, and so on until we got them all, okay? Um, look at number 13. Okay, so we're going to say 16 divided by negative 8. 16 divided by negative 8. Okay, it's going to be negative 2. Negative 8 divided by 4 is also negative 2, and this one is also negative 2. Okay, so is this geometric? Yes, because these are all the same. Okay, now we need to find the next three terms. So 1, 2, 3. And you don't have to do it that way. You can list them all down here. Okay, so you're going to say 16 times negative 2. And that's going to give me a negative 32. Okay, and don't erase. You're just going to hit times negative 2 and hit equals 64. And you're going to hit times negative 2 and hit equals negative 128. Okay, 15. 16 divided by 8 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 4 divided by 2 is also 2. So yes, this is geometric. So we're going to say comma, 
we need to find the next three terms. Okay, so again, and I'm gonna try to do this on here without even writing. So my next number is 16. So we're gonna say 16 times two. And that gave me a 32. So I'm gonna say times two. And that would be the following one. So 64 times two. And that would be 128, okay? So it's gonna be 32. 64 and 128. Okay, now, although these all might seem like they're geometric, I set them up, but some of yours are not, so make sure you check if they're geometric or not. Okay, 500 divided by 100. Okay, we do the bigger one, and then, well, from the right to the left. Okay, that's going to be 5. 100 divided by 20 is 5, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. So yes, this is geometric. Okay, and so we need to find the next 3. So we're going to say 500 times 5. It's going to be 2,500. Okay, we're going to say times 5. It's going to be 1, 2, 5, 0, 0. And we're going to say times 5, and that's 6, 2, 5, 0, 0. Okay, the last one. Um, I got negative eight divided by negative four. It's gonna be two. This one's gonna be two, and this one's also gonna be two. So yes, it's geometric, so we need to find the next three terms. So negative eight times two, it's gonna be negative 16. Times two, it's gonna be negative 32. And times two, it's gonna be negative 64. Okay, you guys have 10 to do. Go through and get your 10 done. Um, tomorrow's is the exact same. Um, so I am going to fly through that video. Um, that's more or less in case you need some help. Um, but there, nothing is different on tomorrow's versus today's. Okay, so um, have a good day. Get your 10 done and then put your name on it and put it in the box.